Hey guys, this week we're talking about series. Um, since most books are actually part of a series nowadays, which is kind of annoying but also kind of awesome, I'm just going to talk about the three series that I've finished recently. Um, so let's go with that, because I can't pick a favorite series. I just, I can't. It's too hard and I'm just, eh. I don't want to think today, okay? Okay, so the first series that I recently finished was the Curse Workers Trilogy by Holly Black. Um, this starts with White Cat, the second one is Red Glove, and it ends with Black Heart. If you haven't read this series yet, you have to. It's so excellent. Holly Black's writing is just so engaging and addicting, and the stories are so dark, but they're kind of funny at the same time, and the main character's a guy, and he's awesome, and there's magic, and there's like an alternate history, and it's just, it's amazing. And if you haven't read it, you really need to. Um, I, I'm absolutely in love with the Curse Workers trilogy. I guess if you want a little bit of a summary, I can give it to you. Okay, so the concept of the Curse Workers trilogy is that Castle, the main character, is born into a family of workers. These are people that can do things to other people via touch. Um, I think his mom can persuade people to do things. One of his brothers can mess with your memories, and um, there's just like, everyone has their own little ability, but Castle's the only one that doesn't have an ability. His family is also kind of like a mob family, so there's that as well. Um, and so he's just kind of like the ugly duckling of the family. He doesn't have a power, he's reluctantly involved in the mob, but he's just not like fully in it like his fam like his brothers are. It's Castle's story and kind of discovering more about him and he has this huge secret that even he doesn't know about and when you find it out it's like whoa. So um, there's there's lots of like antics and mystery and mob stuff with like guns and knives and hands that can do things and yeah it's just crazy and you need to read it. This second series that I finished recently was the Graceling series or the Seven Realm Seven Kingdoms trilogy. I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but um, it starts with Graceling. Um, the companion book is Fire, and then the sequel to Graceling is Bitter Blue. So there's three books set in this one world. All these books are very, very different, but um, I just finished reading Bitter Blue, which comes out next month. Well, I didn't just finish reading it, but I read it this in March, late March, and it was just, it was so excellent. It completely blew me away. My favorite of the series was Fire, but now I'm kind of shifting that over to Bitter Blue because it was just so good. It was Bitter Blue is such an interesting character and I love to watch her grow. She was fantastic. I'm not going to give you a summary of this series because all the books are just completely different and you can't really summarize them in one like thing other than they take place in this world where there's seven kingdoms and people are warring with each other and there's lots of political stuff and it's just crazy. Oh and there are people that have this ability called Grace and uh, that manifests itself in people's eyes. So if people have two different colored eyes, that means that they have a grace and they can do something, they have some sort of special ability. So fear them. The third and final series that I just finished, I'm talking really fast because my battery's gonna run out, is the uh, Personal Demons series by Lisa Desrochers. I absolutely love this series. It's just, it's kind of like a guilty pleasure. It's not like super deep, but it's really fun and there's lots of like romance and like angels and demons and snark and stuff. Um, it's about this girl named Franny who has this weird ability and heaven and hell are fighting over her and they both want to tag her soul and claim her so that they can use her ability. So um, I just finished Last Rite. I must admit it did not live up to um, Original Sin and Personal Demons, but it was still good. still liked it. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't read that series or the Graceling series, you definitely should. They're super fun. And so before my battery dies, I'm going to say goodbye, and I will see you all next week, and I'll talk slower, I promise. Bye!